So we're at that time of year where everyone's setting New Year's resolutions and trying to, to improve themselves and become the, the, the future self that they really want to be. And yet we also joke about New, New Year's resolutions so much because we never actually get there. <laughs> By February, March, April, we're laughing at, ha ha, who's got there? So what's one of the things that, that you think, Mangizi, is really useful in, to get New Year's resolutions to be more successful? I mean, over and above New Year's resolutions for me, it's looking at looking at your current self now before taking any action yeah. and when you do take action toward your goals or toward achieving whatever it is that you want to do look at yourself from the perspective of your future self from the perspective of the person who has achieved all these goals and think of how you would how you would have arrived at these at these goals that you've achieved and start setting your goals from that perspective so as you're going forward. into the future, you're looking back and saying, looking what, what back. do I need to have done in order to have in order got for me, here in to order to, yeah, in order to have arrived. Instead of coming from, from the current self saying, I want to be there. Oh, I want to be there. So instead of, instead of, instead of being at the, at the bottom of Table Mountain looking up, be at the top of Table Mountain looking at yourself down and thinking and of how you would, have, you would have climbed that mountain. What do I need to mountain. do and what had I need to prepare in order to have climbed the mountain? Yes, and keep doing mm. that. Because your future self, because your future self is probably knows more, they see more, and they're able to look back <laughs> at what they did. they've got hindsight, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah. So do you have anything to add, Jonathan? Yeah, I would, look, I would uh, certainly agree with Mongezi, and just maybe as an example, just uh, um, a personal account, uh, I was diagnosed with sleep apnea last year, and it was a wake-up call because the spin-off effects or the negative effects from that could be something as... Uh, as, as, as crazy as a heart attack and looking at where I want to be in the future, knowing that I want to be a healthy individual, looking back, what steps do I need to take now in order to counter that? And I've seen a neurologist and I'm on the, the step to getting a better sleep of the night, but then there's a healthy element and that's what I'm now bringing in and that is my focus for 2012. Knowing that in 30, 40, 20 years time, I want to be a far better picture of health than I currently am now. Um, and I think having that information at hand to know where you want to go is important, but having, a, having that perspective, that, uh, taking a step back and looking at where you want to be and what you're going to do to get there, I think, is, uh, is important. And I think you also said another way we could use those exercises is um, if I didn't change anything, what would that future self be? Yes. You know, the, the one that has the yes. heart if attack. If I continue or on the current path of... Path. And looking back from that perspective of not doing anything, that's where... Okay, so it's, it's quite Well, if nothing changed, what would happen? Motivating. And uh, it was a big wake-up call for me personally. And I think when you look at uh, your, yourself, perhaps, there are areas that will give you your own wake-up call. And uh, hopefully that is enough. Yeah, so it's a, it's a great way to, to make those new, new Year's resolutions more well-formed. It's a bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Um, so yeah, we talked about this in far more, more depth in our um, latest show. So you can catch our new show that's just out where we talk about all the other aspects that we believe involved in making New Year's resolutions more successful and catch it on ltp.letstalknetwork.tv Thanks. <laughs>